Travis, um, when did you find out that Drew was not going to be playing tonight? Drew? Drew did, yeah. did not play the game? I know. I was surprised too. Drew was not out there with us? No, it was I, weird. I didn't notice. I didn't yeah, notice. neither did I. It was weird. Uh, you know, obviously this afternoon, um, you know, I think the team is not allowed to, uh, you know, talk to us about, about it and uh, because, you know, it's medical information. And uh, obviously, um, I know, wish him uh, health and, um, you know, when he's safe uh, and uh, he's okay, he's going to join us back in this road trip. Uh, Brooks said he took a nap, but he wasn't sure if he was going to wake up and the game was going to be canceled. Did that kind of happen for you too? I know you typically take a nap in the afternoon. Yeah, it was uh, it was kind of weird. Like we were sleeping and like, you know, everything was up in there. We didn't know if we were going to play the game. If not, we didn't know what the protocol was and uh, how the NBA and the, you know, people going to handle our situation. Uh, but uh, obviously once I woke up, I saw my phone. There was no text. I was ready for the game. I guess for you, as you're thinking about this game, Chris has 12 assists, <laughs> and I, I you've played with Chris longer than anybody. You've seen it, but just what do you think of his playmaking this year? It feels like somehow he's gotten even better, which seems impossible this late in his career, but it just feels like it. I mean, it's easy. It's easy to play with him. Uh, it's easy to read him. You know, he's a, he's a threat out there. You know, guys respect him. Guys go over uh, when we said pick and rolls on him, uh, he's a great passer. He's going to find you uh, early or late. Uh, um, he's a capable passer. Uh, but, yeah, he's he's way better uh, this year, and uh, we need more for him. Uh, but uh, we enjoy. You know, I enjoy playing with Chris every single moment. One thing I wanted to ask you about in, in particular is he's been getting that over-the-top lob to you a little bit more often. It's where you're coming up to set the screen, and then you throw it over the top. Um, just what is that communication like? It's something that you guys seemingly have just kind of figured out this year. You know, I see whenever the guy that's guarding me takes a step and I know that I'm going to say the pick it wrong uh, to Chris, I know that he's capable, you know, to make that pass over the top. So, you know, I just go to let him. Sometimes he's not going to throw it, but the guy that's guarding me is going to come with me. So he has all the space to go one-on-one. -on -one. But most of the time he's, you know, throws the ball high and I'm just trying to go get it. <clears throat> Zora Stevenson. I know NBA players and athletes for that matter are very routine oriented. You guys find something that works for you and you like to kind of repeat it. How has this past year made you realize maybe like, oh, I can be successful without it having to be so regimented just with all the different things that are thrown at you with all the adjustments you have to make. I'm talking, you know, safety protocols or the plane not leaving, whatever it may be. Do you feel like you can be successful without the routine now? Oh, yeah, for sure. You still have a routine. You have a routine for every situation. You have a routine for when you have shoot around and then you have a game. You have a routine where there's no shoot around, then you have a game. You have a, a away routine. You have a home routine. Like, you know, uh, no matter what happens, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, affect what you, you know, what you do, what your routine is uh, for me. You know, uh, for other players, maybe affect them, but uh, I always find time to, you know, work on my body, work on my game, um, relax when possible. And then when, uh, you know, the game starts, I try to lock in for 48 uh, minutes and just have fun. When you all are doing the games every other day, when do you allow yourself, okay, I've got to like reflect on the game we just had, but then also prep for the opponent that's next? When do you allow your mind to switch? To the opponent does that make sense I, I probably you know after the game i take 30 minutes you know to think about the game what could i do better uh, if i could be more aggressive uh, uh what was my how was my turnovers um did i had silly fast like i just you know talk to myself and uh go uh through the game in my head and um after those 30 minutes the game is over and i'm just look forward for the next game obviously for the next game um, i don't think about it until I'll say probably like three hours before the game. You know, I try to, you know, relax as much as possible. And because I know what kind of personality they have, I know when um, I need to lock in, I can lock in immediately. So I just try to relax as much as possible. And when I come to the game three hours before, then I, I lock in and I'm ready for the game. Jim Mozarski. Yeah, um, I, I know, I think we asked you a few weeks ago when Tori got into the rotation about what you had seen from him in, in practice. 
Was today probably the best example of what he can do in a game for you guys, being asked to get out on Murray and, and defend out there and, and obviously contribute a little bit on offense too with, with that three ball? No, obviously, he played great. Um, I think he felt comfortable playing against his old team. He knew them. He knew their tendencies. Uh, he wanted to, you know, prove himself. He played with the chip on his shoulder. Um, but, like, what he can do is unbelievable. Picking up, you know, the best player of the other team, the point guards, the uh, the guys that handle the ball, full court, pressure them, make them turn the ball over, get deflection, and uh, being able to, on the offensive end, you know, slash, uh, get um, wide open threes, knock, knock them down. Like that was big for us tonight, and uh, we need more from him. Uh, but man, when he's playing like this, when he's playing at his best, is is amazing. You know, it's amazing to watch, and uh, we we need him to. We need to keep his confidence up every single game, and we need him to do this every single night. Um, I know you guys made a ton of threes again, but it I probably in the moment it was frustrating to to have to play through so much contact. A lot of times, but is that an important part of of you know building a team for a year is, is winning in different ways? Because I imagine having to play through contact, being physical, and and still running offense and scoring points. That's an important lesson to learn, I guess. Is is a team new team kind of comes together? Yeah, um, obviously, you always got to find ways to uh, you know play hard, um, figure out figure out ways to win. Um, Figure out ways to be good, uh, play together. Uh, but at the end of the day, our effort gotta be there. You know, um, there's gonna be some days that's gonna be a physical game. We gotta be physical. There's some gonna be games that we gotta run people over threes. Uh, but at the end of the day, if we do it together and uh, we have fun, we play hard together, and things are gonna be well. All right, thanks, Giannis. Thank you guys.